Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you my unboxing of some um, items from the Sphere, Sphere Grace. I'll put the link in the description below. But I've got the Gorgeous Lux Dream Box from this month. And I've also got some beautiful Halloween um, leatherettes. So I'll move the, the Deluxe Box out of the way because it is amazing. I've had a look before I filmed. And especially for the price you pay, it is astounding, but I will show you in a minute. But I just wanted to show you these beautiful leatherettes first. So look at this one. Look at this creepy, beautiful Halloween. And then I got this one. And the leatherettes from Sphere Grace are always so high quality and you can see the print because she's all in-house printing now. So if she doesn't have the design, ask her. I bet she's probably got it in the thousands and thousands of files that she has. And look at the quality. Look at the print quality of that. And like I said, it's a super soft, super nice, pinchable. So it's perfect for all of your pinch bows and things like that. Look how pretty they are. I love cute Halloween. As you probably guessed from the prints I've chosen. And then I couldn't resist a Halloween gonk gnome whatever you call them so those are my halloween prints and then i just need to reach over here and show you this is all of the deluxe box the deluxe stream box it's a monthly well semi-monthly it's normally monthly but sometimes it gets missed but it's a monthly box they do a non-deluxe version and this is a deluxe version this was 25 pound and i'll show you everything it contains and look how pretty this is and this is actually a leatherette but with the way it's been designed if you wanted to you could use it as your backdrop to take your photos on so it's entirely up to you you could use all of this because like i said this is really pretty for like bows you could use this as a bow design as well so there's that one and then Look how pretty it is. Like peachy pink. See? And these adorable penguins with their little hats and ear muffs. With stunning winter flower. You can go either way, I think. I want to put more that way. Whichever way works for you. Another super cute polar bear one. Deer, polar bears and arctic foxes and arctic raccoons, I think. Don't quote me on that. Tell me what you would call these. I call them arctic root root raccoons because they're arctic foxes and they're the deer. But like I said, I'm terrible at naming animals. And now I've got this really pretty... Christmas tree, a nice glitter, cream glitter, blue soft glitter, a white chunky glitter, like a, a white and gold chunky glitter, and then you've got this marabou puff piece of fur for your penguin furry friend and you basically do this and then you cut your feet out you have your feet on so you've got your furry friend so we've got one of them matching like i said arctic raccoons arctic foxes you tell me a little cute christmas tree felty a golden arctic fox and then i don't know whether or not you can see it 100 percent but this is a polar bear big felty and the idea for this is we've got an advent calendar set up here and each of these has a pocket now i'm not sure how deep they are Hold on. so the idea is is that you would be able to fit and you could fit quite a few things in because that's it's a tight fit, but you would be able to fit 
something such as that in you'll be able to fit your snap clips in you'll be able to fit some of your smaller bows some of your bigger ones such as something like this that might be a little bit trickier yeah i don't think that's gonna quite but i suppose if you didn't mind the people knowing what they've got you could fit it in at like an angle kind of thing but yeah you'd be able to play around and work out which one's fitted and what what you could organize in there but they're reasonably de deep considering the fact that they're embroidery rather than like a like um paper advent calendar or something such as that and they're reusable so it wouldn't be just a one-off thing it could be a yearly um reusable for years to come so like i said that's the idea of these so i'm gonna make up the advent calendar and have a play around with the rest of the leatherettes and decide what i'm going to make on this so i will be back and i will show you all of the bits that i have made bye Hi, so I'm just going to show you the contents of the Sophia Grace uh, Dream Box looks now that I've finished making it up. So I made these cute little bows here out of the penguin ones. I made these super cute little snappy clips and these triple and double layer ones out of the peachy pink bear material. Look how cute they are. Look at my cute little penguin felty friend. These are my favourites, I think. These blue ones here. And then I made this little pinchy one. And I do think this is my favourite all of all the ones that I made. And I made this with the bottom of the sheet, you know, the one that I showed you that had the little bit of um, there. And then used the back piece of that for the tails and um, the this fabric as the back layer there but i think it's so pretty it's a really big bow as well it's like a five inch bow okay this is all my leftover materials so i've still got two full sheets some extra bits here look and i've got all of these i've literally got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, like 29 items and your embroidery calendar. And with this, you can literally put your little snap clips in. You could probably get away with one of these be a tight little fit but you could sort of if it wasn't being held up by a little bit of masking tape so I can show you properly but it would probably fit uh, one of the sort of smaller bows would be better but like I said the little snap clips and things such as that they fit in perfectly so you get the idea of that and you've got the full 12 days the rest of the 12 days are down here look i put my little couple of my extra felters on there as well and like i said it's just endless and this is 25 pound i've still got tons and tons left over and so many pretty things that can be made and like i said i'm limited to my six dies so if you've got better combinations or different options you you've got so many more things that you can do with this if you had like some of the posy dies or the frenchy uh peepo ones and things some, like, like that and did some double layering you could make some stunning ones and there's already some other examples in sophia grace's um customer group so go have a look at there as well but like i said for 25 pound that is truly truly amazing value and like i said definitely 1000 percent worth it so the next one will be out at the end of this month so like i said keep an eye out for it because it will definitely be worth buying and like i said it is so pretty and the makes that you can make with it are just beautiful